Hi guys, it's time for a model update. Now the Enterprise is done and dusted and that's gone. It's up on my shelf upstairs sitting next to my Klingon battle cruiser. Um, uh, so yeah, I'm going to be cracking on now with getting the TARDIS done. That's the main focus. Get the TARDIS done, get it finished and uh, get it out of the way before starting something else. Um, so there's been a lot of uh, casting and moulding and all that sort of stuff. Uh, done for the TARDIS now. Um, I've got lots of things, lots of niggly things done. There's, there's still stuff I can't do until the internal part is put in, um, which is a shame, you know. Uh, it, it does mean I've, I've got to hold off on it um, because it's just the way that the thing goes together, you know. Until the circuits and everything are put inside the, the box, I can't really do a lot with. Um, with finishing it off, really, um, because there's stuff that has to go in and there's stuff that has to go on. For example, I can't put the the front panel on and the the front door until the internal structure is in. Um, and and to be honest with you, it would make it more awkward if I did. Uh, to be honest, if I was to put the front door on and anything like that, it would just make it really really awkward to you know just get your hands inside and just to work and, and, and to put things right. Um, but that being said, there's still stuff that can be done and there's stuff that has been done. So I'm going to show you that right now. Moving on. So I'm back working on the TARDIS and as you can see I've got all the uh, caps for the signs on and the rises. Um, I've still got to put the horn corners on. Um, but the thing to do now is to do a little bit of sanding and filling in places just to tidy this up and I'm doing it as I go rather than try to do it all in one because otherwise that would be a nightmare so I'm going to do some sand and filling and like I said some trimming just to make sure that these are all nice rounded edges and uh, then I can carry on then working on right then it's been over 24 hours since I filled in this and I've done some of the trimming to the signs they still need sanding but I'm going to leave that for a little bit um, what I'm currently doing now is um, uh, what I'm doing is making the horns for the corners. So I'm gonna what I've done is I've just cut a couple of pieces of styrene there and uh, make sure they're the, the right size. And that's gonna make this, the wedge. And then I've got the cap then, which I made out of another piece. And then that's gonna sit something like that on top. Uh, which I, and you can see I've sanded the corners as well, so it's nice and rounded. Let's try to put that on tidy. So it goes on something like that. Um, but I'm going to carry on sanding these now, round the corners of the actual horn itself. And then uh, what I'll do is I'll make a silicone rubber mould of this. And then I'll cast it four times and then I'll have the horns for the corners. So that's what I'm going to do now, is I'm going to finish off making this and then probably get the mould done for it. Um, or I'm just going to drop it on the floor. Moving on. So I've got the horns cast up for the TARDIS and they are glued in place now. Uh, and all I'm doing now is I've just mixed up some green stuff and any uh, little seams that I can see, I'm just taking a little piece of the green stuff and just rolling it out and then using my knife and just pressing it into place just so that um, I, I prefer using it as a filler like this than actual filler just because I, I, it's less messy and um, I just easier use I suppose so yeah I'm gonna carry on doing this now um, I'm just going to go around it and like you see, I can just put it in, cut it off, and it's felt. I mean, it's I, I find it as one of the best modeling materials to use. So, I'm going to go around now and uh, check for any other seam lines that need filling and do it with the green stuff, and then uh, I can crack on. So I'm just finishing off putting some of this green stuff in and I'm literally just sort of pushing it into the seam 
using the edge of the blade and I mean I like it like I said it, it to me it's it's a good material for building parts and things like that but as as a filler as well um I just think it's a lot neater you can do stuff like that and just clean it straight off and it's done so um, yeah I'm pretty much done now with all the filling um, so yeah that's all the green stuff filling done so here is the Fresnel lamp and cage that I've made um, basically it's made out of two styrene pieces, a resin cast piece and some four, uh, four pieces of steel tube uh, and obviously the lens that I made as well um, now it's not glued together because I want to be able to take the two the lens out so I can paint it um, also in the bottom part of it needs a bit of sanding and uh, tidying up first before it goes any further so, so um, it's not stuck together so I can just take it off paint it put it back together then glue it down um, so yeah, that's pretty much it. It's um, it, it looks right. It looks like the proper Fresnel lens um, and the proper lamp cover as well. This was actually made out of two. Uh, the resin piece on top was made out of two pieces that I found in my bits box that I stacked together and then molded and cast because it was exactly the right size. It, that's just the way things turn out. So um, yeah, um, and it is. It looks like the proper. Cap and when I scaled it as well, it actually matches up to the proper scale as well. It's even got the nipple on top. Yay! Because everybody likes nipples. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much the Fresnel cage. Um, so yeah, a little bit more work to do to that. And then that can be fitted to the top of the box. So that's going to do it for me for this model update. Um, there's more things to do to the TARDIS now to get that finished off. And uh, there's more to come. But I'm going to be uh, taking it easy, because obviously it's coming up to Christmas now, so um, I'm going to be taking it easy and getting the rest of my shopping done and everything like that. Um, hopefully you've enjoyed this video. If you have, feel free to like and comment on this video. Also, feel free to subscribe to my channel or go over and join me on Google+. But until the next update, I'll see you later, guys.